Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Veslak, and today we're going to talk about reversing heart disease plaque, an integrative natural approach. First, we want to evaluate certain risk factors. So we want to perform some blood work to measure our blood lipids. We want to do our blood pressure, our fasting blood sugar, along with the hemoglobin A1C, our C-reactive protein, homocysteine, fibrinogen. We want to get an accurate measurement of your weight, and of course, family history. We, we recommend a CT scan of the arteries to determine the amount of plaque that is building up in the coronary arteries. This is a non-invasive, relatively inexpensive test. It has been shown that once plaque is building up, it will increase every year if there is no intervention. So some of the blood work that we like to do is the high density lipoproteins, the low density lipoproteins, and triglycerides. And we like these numbers around 60 mil milligrams per deciliter. The blood pressure ideally is anything lower than 130 over 80. And blood sugar, we like the numbers between 85 and 100. Anything above 100 is considered insulin resistance and above 115 is suggestive of diabetes. Our C-reactive protein, the number we like is less than one, and homocysteine, ideally around five to eight. These are inflammatory markers that have been proven to increase the risk of heart disease and or stroke. Some of the dietary changes we recommend are a low glycemic diet, so we want to avoid fructose, corn syrup, avoid the wheat products such as, you know, the gluten, reduce fruit intake to one per day, increase your vegetable intake, Increase flaxseed to two tablespoons per day and increase your protein intake. Nutritionally, we like niacin with inositol to avoid the niacin flush, fish oil, vitamin D3, vitamin C, magnesium, phosphatidylcholine, arginine, and the new research shows that polycansol helps reduce arterial plaque, so we recommend 10 milligrams two times per day. And lastly, natokinase has been shown to be effective for decreasing fibrinogen levels and reducing arterial plaque. It's important to support the thyroid and the adrenal glands for optimum cardiovascular health. And then we also assess the genetics, the lipoprotein A. As it's been proven, there is a genetic predisposition for higher risk of heart disease if you do have this genetic SNP. So things like niacin helps to lower the lipoprotein A, and our goal is below 30 milligrams. Other things like bioidentical hormones and DHEA has proven to be effective in uh, managing the lipoprotein A genetic predisposition. We want to do things that are make us healthy, like exercise. We all know this. Walking is good. Weights with resistance band or light weights meditation to help reduce the stress. These are all effective tools to help with uh, cardiovascular management. And then three to six months we do a follow-up. We like to evaluate the labs. We like to measure the weight, blood pressure, and redo the calcium scoring test to make sure that the protocol that we have recommended has been effective. During this time we make sure that our patients have already consulted with their primary care physician as well as a cardiologist to make sure that we are on the most effective, efficient path to get you back to health. Thank you.